Hey there once again YouTube. Well, I do have a few things to put out there for you today. Just real quick, I have discontinued my monthly Volcano Update videos. However, I am now doing them as a blog post on my website. They're a lot more simplified and it's a lot quicker for me to do. So, because I'm going to be a busier man in the coming months and years, of course. So, I did have this on here for the seismicity. For all the regular volcanoes that I covered in my monthly volcano updates, this is for June 2019. The two volcanoes of interest for June 2019 are Mount St. Helens, which saw a good-sized increase in seismicity in the month of June 2019, and Lassen Peak, Lassen Volcanic Center actually, which actually saw a few low-frequency volcanic earthquakes, which were very intriguing to analyze, very, very cool to look at. So. I will leave a link to this in the description box, uh, excuse me, description box below. Again, Mount St. Helens and Lassen Peak are the ones to look at. Long Valley had a good amount of earthquakes. Yellowstone was somewhat active with a few small rapid fire swarms along the East Mount Sheridan fault system. So check this out if you want to see the monthly volcano update. Also, there is a new page called Deformation Updates as well. Yellowstone Yearly and Long Valley Yearly will show... Um, long term like many 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 years worth of deformation data uh via gps plots from unr and so go check that out if you want i will update that once per year since the plots are you know showing huge time range so really you don't really have to update it much um but the yellowstone caldera and long valley caldera will show a more zoomed in look in the past year of deformation which will show recent deformation as well as of July 1st, 2019. And then I have a page right here showing the station locations that I use for all the GPS stations right here. So go check out those two new pages on my website if you want. Again, I'll leave link, uh, a link to both those in the description box below. Now, let's get to the main course, shall we? Here we are at volcanoes.usgs.gov and Mauna Loa, which as of today has the alert level been raised. It indeed has to advisory yellow. Mauna Loa is the largest active volcano on the planet. Its long submarine flanks descend to the sea floor an additional 5 kilometers. And the sea floor in turn is depressed by Mauna Loa's great mass, another 8 kilometers. This makes the volcano summit about 17 kilometers, 55,700 feet above its base. Wow, that's a massive volcano, guys. Um, again, the alert level was just increased today from green normal to advisory yellow so let's go to the current alert and see what they are talking about ever since they increased the status now it used to be green but now it is not the current color code yellow previous color code green going down for the past several months earthquake and ground deformation rates in Mauna Loa volcano have exceeded long-term background levels an eruption is not imminent and current rates are not cause for alarm However, they do not mention the volcanic spasmodic tremor events that have been occurring in Hawaii lately. Underneath the Big Island of Hawaii, anywhere from 20 kilometers all the way to sometimes 60, almost reaching 60 kilometers in depth, right under the Big Island of Hawaii along the southern section just south of Pahala, Hawaii, which is occurring within the Manso Plume, meaning that the spasmodic tremor events, and I've even talked to a few seismologists a few months ago from the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network and a few other places as well, and it is, it is basically confirmed that the spasmodic tremor events, and when, when big ones happen, you notice it. On the webby quarters online, you'll notice it. it. Huge seismic traces, almost resembling a steamboat eruption. The frequencies, the characteristics are completely different, but if you look at a webby quarter of a steamboat eruption and a webby quarter of the spasmodic tremor, you'll notice that just to the untrained eye, they do look somewhat similar. But again, the characteristics are completely different, and the process is completely different. Spasmodic tremor is showing magma recharge from the mantle plume right under the Big Island of Hawaii. And uplift continues for Mauna Loa. And the uplift of Mauna Loa is actually, I'm starting to think it's becoming a little severe, which is why they increased the alert level. And Kilauea Summit and the Kilauea East Rift Zone, most notably the middle and lower East Rift Zones, are seeing uplift as well. So magma is coming from the mantle plume, right, and spreading into multiple areas under the Big Island of Hawaii because that's how all the volcanoes are created there. They're not created by a normal subduction process. All right, moving on. 
However, they do indicate changes in the shallow magma storage system at Mauna Loa. Following a significant earthquake swarm in October of 2018, HVO seismic stations have recorded an average of at least 50 shallow small magnitude earthquakes per week beneath Mauna Loa's summit, upper southwest rift zone, and the upper west flank. This compares to a rate of a fewer than 20 per week in the first half of 2018. Shallow earthquakes are occurring in locations similar to those that preceded Mauna Loa's most recent eruptions of 1975 and 1984. During this time period, GPS instrumentation and satellite radar have measured ground deformation consistent with renewed recharge of the volcano's shallow magma storage system. The current rate and pattern of ground deformation is similar to that measured during inflation of Mauna Loa in 2005 and again from 2014 to 2018, where they did have the alert level raised there, but no eruption occurred. However, in my opinion, guys, in my opinion, I, and I haven't checked all the data. I've tried to check some of it, but I haven't checked it all, so I'm not 100% for sure, but it was not preceded by strong volcanic spasmodic tremor and uplift in multiple areas. I mean, Mauna Loa, Kilauea Summit, Kilauea's entire East Rift Zone, all of those three areas are currently swelling, and we're seeing a lot of volcanic spasmodic tremor within the mantle plume, telling me that there is a lot, I'm talking a lot, of magma coming into Hawaii preparing for the next eruption. And I have stated in my previous uh, videos that I do believe Mauna Loa will be the next, at least in my opinion. And right now, that seems like where it's going. However, you never know. I mean, eruptions could just pop up out of nowhere in Hawaii. I mean, that happens a lot. Together, these ob observations indicate the volcano is no longer at a background level of seismicity. Accordingly, HVO is elevating the Mauna Loa alert to advisory and the aviation color code to yellow. This increase in alert level does not mean that an eruption is imminent, nor that progression to an eruption is certain. A similar increase in activity occurred between 2014, 2018, and no eruption occurred. Again, I say, but it did not coincide with multiple areas of uplift along the Big Island of Hawaii, and in my opinion, did not coincide with strong volcanic spasmodic tremor. But I could be wrong about that. Just putting that out there. Just from what I've seen, and I'm not a professional, Prognosis is that, as has happened before, it is possible that current low-level unrest will continue and vary in intensity for many months or even years without an eruption. It is also possible that the current unrest is an early precursor to an eventual eruption. At this time, we cannot determine which of these possibilities is more likely. HVO expects that days or weeks prior to an eruption, monitoring instruments will detect an increased potential for an eruption. This I do agree with. That is definitely right. It will. But these signs could include further increases in rates of earthquakes and ground deformation, increases in sizes of earthquakes, an increase in sulfur dioxide or surface temperatures, and an increase in visible steam plumes or sulfur dioxide emissions. Also, it's possible that the time frame to an eruption could be shorter, hours to days. They are not meaning hours to days from this being released, right? They're talking about when you start to see activity even get more increased than it is right now. Uh, it could be hours to days. I mean, you never know. It could be tomorrow, guys. I, I, I don't know. But Mauna Loa is definitely seeing a good amount of unrest right now. Now, I have not put out my blog post yet about the Hawaii Volcanic Spasmodic Tremor events on July 1st, 2019. You can see two of them down here. Extremely strong, in my opinion, are the strongest since the Volcanic Spasmodic Tremor swarm in late January of this year, 2019. One of the strongest episodes of Volcanic Spasmodic Tremor. Not the strongest, but one of the strongest, that is for sure. And in my opinion, I think it did increase, um, it did coincide with a small increase in sulfur dioxide at Kilauea. If you go to earth.noschool.net, go to chem, cook SO2SM to see sulfur dioxide at the surface. You could go check that out if you want and see recent sulfur dioxide emissions from the Big Island of Hawaii. Again, on July 1st, 2019, there were three spasmodic tremor events. Let's zoom out. Wow, it's lagging, guys. Sorry. Sorry if my audio's lagging, too. We see the first one here earlier in the day. Pretty weak. Pretty, pretty weak. Uh, but going down, we saw two very strong spasmodic tremor events. One of them looked like two episodes, but it didn't really calm down too much within the center, so I'm just going to call this one episode right here. And since this is one spasmodic tremor event right here, it lasted about, uh, what was it? Let's see, 2013 to, I'm going to say 21, 24. That's an hour and 11 minutes. One of the longest, possibly the longest, volcanic spasmodic tremor events 
at least in the year uh, 2019. So this one was definitely noteworthy, that is for sure. And then the second one, excuse me, the third one of this day occurred just a little bit later and was more emergent, more tremor-like. And notice we have a lot of high frequencies involved with this. These are called spasmodic tremor events. You can go look up spasmodic tremor if you want. Um, there isn't too, too much out there, but there are other plots from other locations around the world that have seen spasmodic tremor. These, according to their depths and locations, are signaling a lot of magma is coming up through the mantle plume, feeding the shallow magma reservoirs for Mount Aloha, the Kilauea Summit, and the Kilauea East Rift Zone. So we do, I do think that we are going to see some eruptions soon, guys. I think we definitely are possibly this year. I'm not saying that for sure. You know, I could be definitely very wrong, but... Volcanic spasmodic tremor is not ending. Uplift is not stopping. Seismicity is starting to increase a little bit. So, looks like we're getting there, guys. If you live on the Big Island of Hawaii, please be prepared and just heed the warnings of your civil authorities, just in case. Now, we're going to take a quick look at some raw GPS data taken from the Mauna Loa Summit from Station MLSP. And we're going to also take a look at, whoops, that's not it. B -R -B -Y -R -L at the Kilauea Summit right over here and we're also going to take a look at along the middle and lower east rift zone between the middle and lower east rift zone right in the transition area from the middle to the lower Joka so we'll look at Joka from basically the lower east rift zone and we're going to take a look at the Kilauea Summit B Y R L and MLSP and we're not going to take a look at these plots we're going to take a look at the past year because you can tell there are multiple years ever since about 2001 to 2019. We want a zoomed in look and to see what is currently taking place over the past year and how deformation in, uh, in regards to uplift subsidence is currently occurring. All right, here we are in Microsoft Excel with MLSP from the Mauna Loa Summit. We're gonna take a look at the past year. Remember one sample is taken each day. We're gonna take a look at the past year for Delta U, which will show us uplift subsidence patterns for the past year or so. And highlight that. Then go up, press insert if you're doing this on Microsoft Excel. And go to charts, go to scatter plot. And it will pop up a scatter plot as you will see in just a second. There we go. So again, this shows up with subsidence for the Mauna Loa Summit. And right around here, the 100 mark is early October 2018. Coincidentally, that's when uplift started to skyrocket at Mauna Loa. Coincidentally, also, that is when the earthquake swarm that they talked about in October 2018, that's right around that time, that uplift started to increase, that earthquake swarm could have kick-started something. And remember, volcanic spasmodic tremor saw a big increase in January 2019, and we see uplift is continuing for the Mauna Loa Summit. Pretty much ongoing, guys, and it's a good amount of uplift, too. I'm going to say since October, there's been, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 390, do, 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 let's just say 430, that is about 40 millimeters, about, I'm going to say maybe 40 to 45 millimeters of uplift. That's a good amount, guys. That's a good amount of uplift. That's what, 4.5 centimeters almost? I'm just doing this off the top of my head. Um, so that's a good amount of uplift, and Mauna Loa continues to swell. Here we are with station BYRL, which resides on the eastern section of Kilauea's summit, uh, along the Halimamau, uh, crater. And we got Delta U. I'm gonna scroll all the way down and go right here, which will show us uplift subsidence patterns for the past year or so. Go to the scatter plot. And you can tell that. Here, let's try to zoom in just a little bit, shall we? Come on, buddy. Sorry, guys, my computer's just a little slow today. I'm going to say negative, negative 0 0.7. Press enter. Okay, so we see that substance was occurring for a while because of the eruptions in 2018. Remember, this is from July. It starts at about July 1st, 2018. So you're still going to see some of that substance there. Kind of calmed down, but you could tell right here, Uplift is starting to occur again at the Kilauea Summit. Not too crazy. I don't think it's as crazy as Mauna Loa, guys. Here, let's zoom in just a little bit more, shall we? Let's do 1.1. Okay. Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 300, 2. Actually, very close. 
It's very close to the same amount as Mauna Loa, but I think it's a little bit less though. But uplift, as you can see, is occurring. The most recent data stream was, is July 1st, 2019. Uplift is ongoing at the Kilauea Summit and the Mauna Loa Summit. Now here we have GPS data. Again, all of this is obtained from UNR and a 12 reference frame. Uh, Joka, which resides right at the start of the Kilauea Lower East Rift Zone area. We're going to go Delta U from July 1st, 2018, which is when the eruptions were occurring in Hawaii. And we're going to go all the way right now to July 1st, 2019. One whole year. Going to click scatter plot in Microsoft Excel. Going to go right to here. Zoom it all out. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to spread this up just a little bit so you can see. Do negative 0 0.4, negative 0 0.4. All right, so we saw the subsidence from the ongoing eruptions there, and then we saw a big spike in uplift, which, I, which uh, excuse me, I talked about a while ago in a video. And then uplift still was ongoing, but not as crazy as right here. And we could see it looked like subsid, uh, excuse me, uplift stopped right here just for a little bit, but it's still ongoing. There is still uplift that is still occurring along the Kilauea East Rift Zone. Again, this is showing uplift subsidence since July 1st, 2018 through July 1st, 2019. As you just saw, uplift is ongoing for the Kilauea East Rift Zone, the Kilauea Summit, and the Mauna Loa Summit as well. Volcanic spasmodic tremor is still pretty strong and is still occurring every now and then. Some days it doesn't occur. Other days we see a big resurgence of it. Um... Also, that on my blog post about the volcanic spasmodic tremor for July 1st will be out by tonight. Possibly by the time this video is done, though, I don't think it will be. So just keep an eye out on my website. You know where to go for the Hawaii blog. The seismic events drop down menu, by location, and click Hawaii. And I'll have that on there, probably be by tonight. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Remember, Mauna Loa's alert level has just increased. Could we be about to see some eruption there? In my opinion, for the past uh, alert level increases, I don't think so. I, I probably would have said that. I don't know. But for this one, it's very interesting, guys. It's very, very intriguing. I think it could be leading to an eruption. And again, I do think and have thought for quite a while now that Mauna Loa would be the next volcano to erupt on the Big Island of Hawaii. If you live in Hawaii, please be safe. God bless and have a great night, guys. See you later.